Hi. Hello, everybody. What is up? What's up? What's poppin'? Um, I'm emotional. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Nidhi. I hope you guys are doing very, very well. It is 10 p.m. Um, I'm feeling like a million bucks. No, actually not at all. I'm in my pajamas. Uh, I just finished crying like six minutes ago. Have my heat pack on. Ate so many Mr. Puffs and did I already say I cried? Uh, I'm sitting here with lemon ginger tea and I'm in my feels. I'm sorry for the chaotic energy. I truly, my emotions all over the place. So what did I want to say? I don't feel like I said anything. I've been recording for like 45 seconds. Did you guys know that there's heat packs that you can attach like a fanny pack onto your waist and they also vibrate so they can be like massaging and heating up your cramps like just on the go? Jad's told me about this because like I spend the first two days of my period in bed. So genuinely might look into that because that's amazing i'm in my pajamas didn't get changed for you guys today but i put new earrings on Ooh. okay is this better for my hair basically what we're doing today is i'm answering these questions jad's and i sat on this floor um and tipsily jad and i sat on this floor and answered questions from this game we're not really strangers well we were tipsy a couple weeks ago and you guys really really seem to like that so i thought i would do it by myself <laughs> I don't know if you guys really like that because Jad's was in it. I feel like you guys low-key like Jad's more than me. Whatever, no hard feelings. But I thought I would do it by myself because these questions are truly really good. <gasps> My battery's flashing. I really might cry. <sighs> Chaos. Okay, that needs to open. I need to get a battery. I'm gonna end up spilling something i know it i just don't know what yet don't know if the framing is the same had to change my battery it's two minutes in anyways i like these kind of nighttime videos i was thinking of calling one of my friends but i didn't <laughs> but i'm in this mood that i want to hang out with people so this is fun because i get to hang out with you guys um without actually having to be social deck two now for those of you guys that don't know this is a super cool game they also have an instagram account i'm not sponsored by them by the way i genuinely just really love this um it's called we're not really strangers i think they have a youtube channel i don't know as the best tea i've ever had okay we're gonna start okay the first question is how can you become a better person i think that i could probably be a better person if i spoke to those around me more like i think that my need to keep things so private makes people feel like i don't trust them or they're not part of my life and stuff like that whereas it's really just like i'm so like guarded with my energy now that and like juju in general you know what i mean that i just like really don't talk to people unless like whatever i'm going through is done whatever i'm trying to achieve is done and that makes people feel like i don't trust them so i think that i could probably talk to my friends more about like what's going on in my life next question have you ever told someone i love you but didn't mean it if so why no no and i say i love you to a lot of people i do love a lot of people there are different depths of love i have never not meant it if i've said it to someone what is the last thing you lied to your mother about i think that i lied to her about like not knowing certain information because I just didn't want to get involved in drama. So I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what that is. What is a dream you've let go of? Okay, I'm gonna get deep, but I think that's the whole point of this game. <laughs> um, when I was younger, I had this dream to be like everything that my parents wanted. Um, I think that's a really heavy ingrained thought process for a lot of South Asian kids that you need to be like everything that your parents didn't get the opportunity to be or achieve or, or be a part of or whatever it is and when I was younger I remember being like I'm gonna do everything all the things that they didn't get to do I'm gonna do them for them and I think I was like in college or university when I realized that like I was living somebody else's dream I was going through the motions going to career fairs only um, surrounding law because that's what I thought they they would want for me and they dreamt of for me. So yeah, I let go of that dream of like needing to be everything for somebody else. Um, and that was a really hard thing to let go of because you almost feel like you're disappointing people. But I was so unhappy not pursuing the arts, you know? 
What's the most pain you've ever been in that wasn't physical? I don't want this to get like too emotional. When I started unloading the trauma that I had been through and understanding that the situation I was in was emotional and mental abuse, that was the most pain I've ever mentally injured. I think realizing that you put yourself in a situation where you over and over again felt like crap and felt like garbage but weren't able to put the pieces together and understand like why you felt so awful and all this stuff and then months later when you're like kind of out of that headspace and can think clearly and are out of that situation you're like oh this was emotional abuse <laughs> i think when those pieces start to kind of come together that's really really so painful because everything is making sense you know what are you still trying to prove to yourself that there's space for me in places that i didn't initially think that there was this whole idea that i feel like comes from media of like there's only room for one woman at a table or there's only room for one brown person in this place that takes some rewiring and let me tell you i'm trying to work really hard on it so i'm trying to prove to myself that i belong in all the places that i see myself are you lying to yourself about anything? Probably. What is your first love's name and the reason you fell in love with them? Jadzia Morin. Um, I fell in love with them, her, her pronouns are her, um, because it was so easy, like it was so natural. We were just hanging out and then the next thing you knew, I like just wanted to like, kiss her <laughs> um it was just really easy she got to know me she was safe she was emotionally available and responsive and caring and made me feel seen um she met me at a time where a lot was going on in my life and she made everything seem doable it was a very like you and i have got this together kind of mentality and i think that's just one of the best things in a partner and at that time we were only friends so very easy to fall in love with that kind of attitude you know what lesson took you the longest to unlearn that you can have happiness without guilt some of you will get it I'm not gonna explain that do you think the image you have of yourself matches the image people see you as absolutely not my friends talk about me so highly and it is so amazing to hear them talk about me like that I'm like wow every time I'm sad like you guys really pump me up and they're like no we're just telling you it like as it is like we're saying what we actually think of you. And I was like, nah, I don't mean that in like a pity way. Like I really do love myself. I have been on this self-love journey for a while, but I think the way your friends see you is such a precious thing because they genuinely see like all of the goodness. I think I see myself as like a bit of a workaholic and like I'm usually the mom of the group, but I don't think they see me like that anymore. I feel like because we're all responsible, we can all take care of each other and there's no like one specific mom of the group that I'm able to like have fun and not be like worried for somebody, you know? Is there a feeling you miss? Yes, but I think I'm best without it. I think there's a difference between missing a feeling and it being good for you. I miss a lot of things that brought me a lot of pain. <laughs> and I think it was just because I was emotionally addicted to them. Um, so I do miss things, but I, I don't think that they're meant for me right now. What's been your happiest memory this past year? Okay, well, it's February. So this past year, I'm gonna just go from January, February. Um, the other day, Jazz and I had a really cute date we literally just hung out at her house. We hadn't seen each other in quite a while because she's in school and working and, you know, quarantine, lockdown life. The last time I went over, I was like, hey, like my love language today is really quality time. Like we haven't seen each other in so long. Do you think we could just like spend time together, like not watch a movie, no phones and whatever? And she was like, absolutely. And so we just spent like the whole two days just in each other's presence and just like talking. I don't know, it was just so nice. Like we're just like laying in bed, talking.
talking the whole time and about like substance too like it was like fun conversation and I feel like that really made me feel like seen and loved to have my love language like respected that way and it was just like the best day it was so full of love like you could tell we hadn't seen each other in a long time and just wanted to like absorb everything the other person was saying you know show the first photo in your camera roll explain 1010 i keep seeing 1010 can somebody google what that angel number means okay all the way to the top i don't think it's anything that exciting because i clear my camera roll very often i'm capricorn <gasps> it's my brother and i Okay, I'm going to show this photo because you literally can't recognize him from this. If this isn't the cutest thing you have ever seen, I don't know what is. I actually don't remember what the, when that's from. I don't remember how old he was in that, but it's genuinely one of my favorite photos ever. When was the last time you surprised yourself? I started working on a project that I'm really, really, really excited for and I applied for a job that I really, really, really want and I literally had to step back and be like, Nizzy, you are chasing all the things that you want. Wow, we did it. <laughs> Press shuffle on your music library. Explain the first song that comes up. I like this. Let's do it. Did I eat all my chocolate? I swear I had more chocolate. I'm gonna go get more. Um, I'm on Spotify for those of you guys who care. I have some fun playlists for different moods. The latest ones that I made public were called It's 3 a.m. and I need to make something and Late Night Yoga Sesh. So if you guys relate to either of those, go find me on Spotify. Okay, shuffle playing my liked songs. Roof by Jessie Reyes. I can't play it because copyright. Some of these songs in her new album make me cry and I don't know why. Has a stranger ever changed your life? Yes, and this is an angry story. This is not in a good way. This is gonna aggravate some people. I'm already getting annoyed myself. I used to work at a department store and the, the population there, first of all, in employees was like so very like Quebecois French. Like that was the entire, like the staff was predominantly that. The clientele was predominantly that. The stories that have come out of this place Oh, this one guy. Um, at the time, I was a cashier. Okay, so I'm there beeping things. Beep, beep, boop. Beep, beep, beep. And it was in French, the entire interaction, which I'm born and raised here. I speak fluent French. So this guy, have a good day. Bye, bonjourni. And he turns around and goes, you speak good French for a brown. I still regret not decking him in the face. Like I still, to this day, I'm like, that should have been the one time I actually used violence. <sighs> like this man thought he was giving me a compliment being like, you speak pretty good French for a brown person. Are you kidding me? I'm getting angry about it again. I can't get too high on any emotion when I'm on my period because I will start crying. I had to like turn off my light, close my cash, go sit, go sit in the cash room and be calmed down by one of my co-worker um it was just such a rough day after that like i really sat with that anger that was my shower argument for like the next three months i swear to god <sighs> that man changed my life anytime there's anything remotely racist now i'm like who are you talking to me how are you really i have a heat pack on i'm sitting on the floor of my room talking to a camera so i you tell me no honestly i'm really good i'm good i'm vibing when you're asked how you are how often do you answer truthfully mm. I'm gonna say 80, 80% of the time. I think that's it. I have like a couple of cards that, I, I mean, there's a lot of cards that I didn't do, but a lot of them are wild cards and you need another human for them. But I answered a whole bunch that I think would be fun for you guys. Some deep, actually most of these are deep. I hope this isn't like a boring video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love this card game. Let me know if you wanna see more of these kind of videos because they have two other decks. Plus I can do this more with jazz, plus I can find a way to do this with you guys. So if this is something you guys would like to see in other videos, please let me know because I love these. Um, that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are almost at 14,000, which is really crazy. It was my goal for the end of 2020, but that's all right, we're getting there. In other news, I have a PO box. The information can be found down below. I have it until March 16th. Um, if you'd like to send me anything, that would be really sweet. I would love that. 
Uh, what else am I supposed to say at the end of these? You can follow my Instagram if you want. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.